So at this point, you know how to store assets using media entity. You know how to embed assets using entity embed. Now let's look at how to browse assets using entity browser. So the first thing we need to do is install entity browser. So click on extend and search for entity browser and just install entity browser. Then go to configuration and click on entity browsers. Now, creating an entity browser requires two steps. You first need to create a view, which will be used to show a listing of media assets. And then you need to create an actual entity browser and then point it to this custom view. So let's first create the view. So click on structure and then views and click on add new view. And we'll call this asset browser. And from the show dropdown, select media and then sort by newest first. Make sure page settings and block settings both are unticked. And click on save and, save and edit. Now, the first requirement for this view is to click on add and make sure you select entity browser. If you don't do this, then you won't be able to select this view when you configure the entity browser in the other section. And now click on save, just to make sure everything's saved. So here in the preview section, we can see what our entity browser will look like. Let's fix it up by turning it into a table and let's add in the thumbnail. So click on unformatted list and let's change it to table. and click on add next to fields and search for thumbnail. And I'll select the thumbnail as the image style. And click on save. So here you can see that our entity browser is starting to take shape. Now the next requirement is we need to add in a custom field for entity browser. So click on add and search for form and make sure you add entity browser bulk select form and click on add and configure fields. What this does is that it adds in a checkbox, which then an editor can use to select the specific asset. Let's now reorder these fields. So the checkbox is up the front. So click on rearrange and let's fix this up. so that the checkbox is first, the thumbnail is second, and the name of the asset is third. When you create your view, make sure you do the following. Make sure that your display is an entity browser and that you add in the entity browser bulk select form field. Once you've configured everything, click on save, and now go back to configuration, entity browsers, and then click on add entity browser. Now, if you see this message, this form depends on Chaos Tools Suite module, enable it and reload this page. This means that you haven't installed C Tools. So let's go to extend and search for C Tools and make sure you install it. Let's go back to configuration, entity browsers and click on add entity browser. Let's call this asset browser and from display plugin select iframe because apparently modal isn't compatible with entity embed so just a top tip there leave widget selector plugin as tabs and selection display plugin as no selection display and then click on next make sure you check auto open entity browser this just saves the editor from having to press a link when they click on the entity embed button. It'll just automatically open up the entity browser. So just click on next and then next again. And then from here, we configure the actual tabs in our 
entity browser. So first, select Upload Images. This will let an editor upload image bundles directly from the browser. So let's just change the label to Upload Images and then select View and then come down here and we'll select our view which we created earlier. Now, if you can't see your view here, that means you didn't select the Entity Browser Display. So go back to your view and simply select Entity Browser from the Add button and then click on Finish. Okay, now we need to attach our Entity Browser to our Entity Embed button. So let's go back to Configuration, Text Editor Embed Buttons and then click on Edit and you should see a drop down. Make sure you select the browser which is created, Asset Browser, and then click on Save. Now, if we go to our test article, let's just remove this. We should see a proper browser. We can upload our images and then we can select our assets. So let's just select this image Select thumbnail. And there you go. Our asset has been embedded from our fancy new entity browser.